Hey guys, welcome to another TMK broadcast. This is your host, Buckethead, reporting in for our tournament for round three. All right, today, or this round, not today, because all being played in one day, we have Travis. And Travis is flying, let me see here, get a closer look, uh, Ray with Rose, Cora, Finn, Cybernetics Contraband, Shield Upgrade, and Ray's Millennium Falcon. There's a lot of synergy with Ray, Finn, Cora, and Rose. And then we got ZZ Tlo flying heroic crack shot advanced optics along with tally with the same so we have pretty straightforward a wings and an interesting falcon with a lot of interactive uh, abilities there now we have on the scum side we saw in round two jason m with torkel sir muxalot ig88b and ig88e with double taps and jamming beams so if you miss you jam his tokens off Lots and lots of fun. So we're going to go ahead on a mic off for a moment while we let them set up. And I will be with you guys shortly. It's going to set up relatively quickly here. We got three gas clouds. We have the debris cloud over the mouth <laughs> of this of the TMK logo. That's funny. And so the pre the, the obstacles are quite concentrated. Looks like Ray setting up with two flanking A wings. There they go. Now it's time for dials. Let's see how these guys want to interact with each other. Hmm. It almost looks like uh, Travis is setting up for a joust. I don't know if that's going to bode well for him.
Hmm. Well, red is ready. It's like blue finally is. Oh, clock started. Here they go. And they're off. The similar move from last round for the Hawk 290. It's going to go ahead and focus and rotate. I bet you focus and rotate that turret. Do it. Do it. <laughs> there he goes. You just couldn't get, couldn't get the stress on there quick enough, I suppose. Falcon leaps out with a four straight. Well, we had eight signed up, but now we're down to six. <clears throat> Do I sense a boost from the A-Wing? Dude, he is actually, I think he's in combat range already with that Falcon. Kind of jumps out and surprises that uh, Hawk 290. However, I think he'll be surprised if he is in range. He's probably going to be zeroed out. Oh, oh, has that got range? It does, he does. Let's change up the camera angle here so we can see these shots better. He rolls two hits. And a bunch of evades, two evades from blue. That's right, Blue's up next because the Falcon got zeroed. One hit. Do we cal he's calculating it over? All right, so you shoot at the Falcon range tree through the cloud. Oh, I guess that was the A-Wing. There's four dice there. So. Wait, what? I guess that'd be range tree obstructed. Well, the Falcon only had one evade die. Oh, maybe I'm missing something here. That's not the front, but we do have a side arc picking up the Falcon. 
Most likely that's going to be obstructed. Let's see if they check the arcs there. There it goes. Ray is at range 3 unobstructed. So one blank saved and one hit. What is it? Or not, maybe. There we go. One blank, one hit anyways. Average. All right, on two dice, that is expected. One's going to be paint, one's going to be a blank. There we go. Dodges, switches lock. Spins the blank result to acquire lock. That's two dice at range. It should have been three dice at range. Three through obstructed from the uh, from blue there. All right, we have crit crit hit being rolled from the falcon. Target locks the result, and it was on a hit. He's going after that hawk right away. One dodge, one focus. He's going to take two on that. That's all the shields down for the hawk 290. And back to dials. Well, I like uh, Jason's position here with the scum guys. He's got the opportunity to dive in into the debris and the gas clouds through the you know through the obstructions there to uh, really attack uh, you know Travis's position. Not sure what that falcon could do other than go four straight. I hope for some rear gunshots. He's got to, to get out of the way of his A-wings so. The, uh, I think that's Tally down there. I can get a shot. Let me check here. Yeah, that's Tally. Torkel Mux is a bank left three. You see some leapfrogging from the from blue here to go and get a bump, like maybe a three straight or a three bank as well.
Oh! Just a bump. He didn't want to go and get in there. I guess that's a smart play. You need some room to do some K-turns or some sloops because those aliens are going to fly at you, then fly past you and shoot you from, shoot you with their rear arcs. And so you want some time to turn around to get in there. It's not a bad idea. Oh, we got a sloop coming from the Falcon. That's a smart move there for you. All right, so Raid to get out of way for Tally. And so, like I said, Tally was going to dive in, like we said. Tally will not be K-turning next round. <laughs> Whoa, he is really getting in the face of those ships. So that's what I was thinking that Blue should have gone out ahead. And Blue probably would have bumped both those guys if Blue did a three bank. But they would have had no shot, but uh, they wouldn't have had any modifiers. And Turkle's in it. Turkle's getting to get a bruise in this turn. I don't know if the Falcon has a shot or not. Let's figure around to the other side here. Oh, the token's covering the arc. But I would say, ooh, it's close. Oh, Turkle may be in that shot. Stop making you guys motion sickness here. <laughs> in a little bit. There we go. It's a good shot. All right. Looks like Ray does have a shot at potentially two targets here. Ray rolls hit, hit, crit. So that's getting hot for you again. Ooh. I, I hit. Adds a blank. Spends a blank to get a target lock. All right, we're doing three hits. We spend a force charge for that. Well, that's a bummers. <laughs> Gas cloud and then focus. There we go, and you're out. No damage. Oh, one damage. Oh, because there was four. How? Did I miss something? I'm missing something here. Okay. That's fine. I can miss things. As long as the players got them. We're good. Rolling three dice. Trip blanks. Rerolls them for more blanks.
judge request on table one, please? I am watching. What is the question? I can't heroic it twice, right? Because it's two rerolls. Yeah, you can't reroll dice that have been rerolled already. Okay, so cool. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so he heroic the triple blanks. And no, no, we cannot heroic again. Sorry. That's a good question, though. Advanced optics for one. That's all you need, though, to take out Torkoal. <gasps> He's got the focus. He's going to live. Oh, he takes the one. Oh, he wants to save his focus for attack. He's still got one more attack coming at him. Here's the hoping you roll focus next turn. Next attack, here we go. Or take out the A-Wing first. One that hasn't shot. You gotta focus, he's got an evade. Or no, it's gone? I don't know. Unless you're Han Solo. <laughs> yes, it's the only time you can reroll dice that's been rerolled already. Darn you, Han Solo! Breaking the rules. Oh! Three hits. Very nice. Needs all of them to go through, though. Four dice. Oh, he's shooting the aiming obstructed. Interesting. I thought the aiming already shot. I may be mistaken. So gas cloud takes one. He evades out. Who is he attacking? I am thoroughly confused. And maybe maybe now he's jamming the other A wing. It spins the evade, which doesn't matter. I am scratching my head here. Because he'd roll four dice at the orange one. Now what are we doing? All right, that was Zelo. So okay, he hit Zelo this time with one damage card. Okay. We rolled two crits, focus blank. Uh-oh. Did I miss something? I think I missed something. I don't know who's attacking who and why they're rolling all these attack dice. I wish I could hear game audio right now. <laughs> What Turkle saw as a shot? I want to say that was an initiative kill. Whoops, how'd that happen? Oh, that was Turkle's shot. I see where that last attack came from now. Okay, so that was an initiative kill.
Uh oh. We have a DC. We have a DC. Let me go see what's going on. Hey there. It's like uh yeah, it looks we have like a just time out or something. I don't understand that, but he timed out. That's what it said. Uh, right. that means he has uh his he lost connection. And then his connection timed out and then the game DC'd him. So I paused your clock. You guys will be able to continue this once he has rejoined. Uh when I join the table again, will it ha will it be where I left off? Or... Yeah, you just got to pick the color blue. Fair enough. Okay. You guys are horrible, by the way, at selecting which ship is attacking. I can't tell. <laughs> like, who's re-rolling dice? What's going on? <laughs> Should we, like, point more like this with the little cursors? Oh, you, you can always tap. Oh, how'd you do that? Tap, tab. Tab to tap. Oh, fancy, fancy. Yeah. But um, or if like let's say he's attacking, you do fire arc front, and then when you're done, and then when he's attacking, you do this one, and then you're done. <laughs> oh, we were we were doing the fire arch, I think, or at least I was. No, you left blue on the whole time <laughs> that last round. I'm like, wait, <laughs> it was hilarious though. It was entertaining. That double blank out made me feel. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> okay, it's TMK live. Oh, uh, don't tell the password on the on Brown stream, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Someone's gonna come in here and flip your table mid game now. <laughs> no, no, keep on failed to connect password. I'm not doing it right. Uh -huh. Roll. Want me to put it in Discord? Okay. Ta -da. Ta da! Yeah, that's that's what I put in. Uh, maybe I have to just turn off top altogether and reset it. Yeah, it's it's one word. Did you put space in there by accident? No. Mm -mm. It's okay, I did pause your guys' game clock, uh, the stream. You won't have to worry about round time. Show about your game time. Sure. You were able to find the game, yes? Yes. Okay. okay. Nope, see, failed to connect password. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn it off and restart it. Okay. Sorry. No worries. Yeah. So while we are uh, waiting, you guys can tell me how you feel about your game so far. Jason, do you want to go first? Sure. I mean, I don't like the position Torkoal is in. <laughs> I think you know, Torkoal was in a bad way one way or the other because I mean, I'm facing three fives, so there's not really a whole lot I can do. Facing two uh, fives, you make one of them a zero. Well, sure, but you know that's what I mean. Is like that, you know, I'm still taking a bunch of shots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. How about uh, you, Travis? I feel I feel good. I think the next two turns are going to be pretty critical to see if uh, I'm still in this. I needed Torkoal off the board last turn. It was obviously a huge risk to shove. Um, shove ZZ into that uh, that kill box, but I thought that I'd be taking two shots, not not three. For um, sure. Because I had some really good shots on Torkoal, so that double blank out hurt. I, yeah. get, I think we're in a good spot still. It's uh, it's fun, though. I'm happy to be playing something a little bit like, I want to say off meta, because this list is really fun and good I'm facing, but like it's, it's something I haven't seen before, so that's nice. Nice. Yeah, Torkoal Mux is pretty cool. It's one of my favorite yeah, ships. I, I, honestly, I don't, I don't fly Scum, so I, I didn't even know about this pilot till you know, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> He's dangerous. I thought there was Palab and then nobody else. 
All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead back over to my judge box. Um, okay. Just start the clock whenever he's back and ready to play. Will, sure. will do. Oh, oh he's not promoted. Hooray. Promoted once he's blue. All right. The problem is I don't think we had a timer started. No, we did. It's over here. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, hooray. All right. Where were we at? <laughs> We're setting dials. Oh, just resetting dials? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um, Alrighty then. Now that we're back, I'll get make sure I get my time right. They're at uh, 52 minutes, just about. Sync up my time with theirs in 30 seconds. All right, it's pretty darn close. I like it. So red is ready to go. That would be Travis. And blue's got some figuring to do. Now this is where I predicted the K turn from blue this turn. Because he did bump, he wanted to give him some space. Uh, but the Falcon's down where I didn't think it was going to be. So he may not be doing that K turn. And last round, Torkoal just proved his weight for sure in points because they just uh, initiative killed that. Killed ZZ. Oh, Judge! Okay. <laughs> Let me pop over to their voice channel. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello. Um, Jason uh, meant to dial on a stop and no one moved yet, and I'm fine with him changing it if that's fine with you. Um, gentleman's agreement, I would say, right? Yeah, I mean, he popped Tonker Band and flipped it, so I'm sure he meant to dial on the stop, and no one's moved yet. So I'm fine if that's cool with... Uh, with uh, I'm fine. Cool, I okay. Pretend, pretend I never showed up, because I never had to rule on this. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Sometimes, as a judge, I don't want to make an official ruling, because the official ruling is no. He has to do what he dialed. Um... <laughs> So it's like, if their opponent's already okay with it, don't call the judge. Because uh, <laughs> so the judge has to go and say, uh, no, you know, and I just pretend like I'm not going to be here today. I'm gone. All right. So he does a 4K. Interesting. He lands on the obstacle. So he'll be taking a stress and he cannot flip Cybernex Contraband. It's too late. Double stress. We are rolling for the debris. He is clear and free. Rolling for the gas cloud. Focus, he is strained. Boom. That just happened. 
Clears the stress, though. Falcon creeps its way forward. The Falcon's going to be dodging attacks this turn. Or, I mean, the Hawk, sorry. Unless the Falcon wants to rotate. I don't think the Falcon wants to rotate. He's got a pretty heavy shot coming out from the front. If he can make him spend tokens. Oh, maybe he does want to rotate because if he tokens up, they'll just get jammed off potentially. All right, taking a focus. Moldy Crow zeroes Ray. Sir Mux Lot is muxing up the initiatives again. All right, Big Blue is taking a shot at range two into Tally. That's kind of in the way there. Here we go. That's better. Three dice. Focus crit and a blank. That is average. And that is average. Time to proc the jamming beam. Oh, he rolled too many dice. Too many because of strain. That's right. Oh, one die took a <laughs> ran away. He's got two evades though. All right, he's gonna fire into the uh, Falcon. It's like range one. Yep. We have two hits, an eye and a blank. That is about average as you can get. He focuses it over. Just click the button. <laughs> there we go. And he gets to dodge. So two go into the Falcon. Torkel Sir Muxalot is now up. Oh, he added the blank. That's what he was grabbing that blank for earlier. So he adds the blank, spends the blank for a target lock against red. Hawk 290 firing into the Falcon. Range 2 through a cloud. So he'll be able to change that blank he's adding into a... Uh, Evade if he needs to. Crit focus, another average roll. That's a hit and a miss. Focuses it for a hit crit. Another average roll again. Adds the blink. Gas Cloud can change one. He does. Is he going to spend his blank to get a lock or leave it where it's at? Set. He's dodging all. So the Falcon's firing into red. We have one crit, one focus. Blank, blank, slightly below average. He adds a blank, spins his lock, re-rolls all of his blanks. So two hits and a blank after the re-roll, so that's an average roll. So he brings it up to four total, three and a crit with his focus token. 
Oh, he changed the blank to a hit too. That's right. All right. So I used the force for that to do all that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, slightly below average with a focus blank blank. So he's going to spend that calculate for a dodge. He's taking three, though. Those are all of his shields off of red. It's going to be IG-88A. Here, we'll do this with them. Better match the board. Oh, did I miss something? There's more? There's crits? How many did he take? Oh, okay. What did I miss? <laughs> I guess the crit went through. Did he keep his calculate token? Or maybe he didn't. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But that's okay. The players are having fun anyway. Sorry for my singing. I don't know why I did that. I guess I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, no. What is this? What is going on here? Okay, here. What? Disappeared for a second. Nothing happened. I'm good to go. They're still playing their dials. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, so Torkel did a one straight blue bumping here. Nice sloop from a G88 red. Contraband for the calculates. Ooh, nice bump. Torkoal can sneak in there right now and just get the kill. Well, I mean, I mean not the kill, but you know what I mean. Get the shots. Take the shots off. Go, scum, go. <laughs> nice maneuver by Tally. Hawk's checking for zeros. He's got it. Oh, that zero doesn't really matter for too much this round because that ship isn't shooting anyways. Checking range three on the red. Passing that calculate token all the way over to IG eighty eight A or B. Okay, so Tali's up first. She's got a range two shot at blue and range two looks like range two at the Hawk two ninety. But that one's obstructed. Oh, we're going to take the obstructive shot anyways. One hit. Can't advance advanced objects. We don't have a focus token for it, so it's going to stay there. 
Chip blanks. No. No. <laughs> the dice have failed him. I think that's it. I think Torkel's done. Bye bye, Sir Muxalot. Nice knowing you. Now does Big Blue have a shot? Yep, we knew he was out. Come on, Big Blue. Check that arc. He, oh, range two. He's just barely got it, looks like. Just barely. Sneaks it in there. All right, hit crit focus. He's got the calculate. He's not getting shot at. Flips it over. All right, Tally, what you got? Tally's got two dodges, focus, and a blank. That is average. So Tally is taking one there. There, back to dials. Whoops, moving the wrong thing around there. Ah. Let's move that out of the way. Doing some cleanup here while we're waiting for them to move. Okay, he goes over the gas cloud. He's going to have to roll for that. He like disappears into the blue here. There we go. You know, uh, Librarian 101, I am not sure without sitting down with you and taking a look over the board and see what you're doing. Uh, I don't know uh, how to help you with that. Uh, the range circles in the arcs. Uh, let's see here. Click on the dial and then click on, then click and get there. Nothing. It's very, very range. You, uh, weird. You may have to reload the mod. Um, I had to uninstall the mod myself and reload it like once 
uh, to get things all things right because it didn't download right the first time. So that, try that. But you should be seeing them appear. It also could be that something's set with your graphics as well as a potential. Nice boost around the obstacle there. I didn't think that was going to make it. I guess they were just testing to see the boost would, was working. It is working, so. Yeah, sorry, Larry, but I couldn't be any more help, but it sounds like you're actually doing it correctly. All right, so range one into red. Focus, focus, blank, which is a slightly average roll, slightly below, but he focuses it for two. Average roll for the defense dice. Takes one. You're welcome to join our Discord there, uh, librarian. We have a lot of really helpful people here. And we do like get a lot of games in during the week. Four hits from... I think that was from Red. Oh, no, it must be the Falcon. Range 1. Oh, I see the, the arc. Range 1. Into red. Range 1. Here we go. That's an average roll, as average as it gets for defense dice. Takes 3. I think that kills red. No. Yeah, Discord information is actually in our tournament info. If you want to go to Tabletop TO and search TMK, you can find our tournament inf our tournaments there and leagues there. And under the description for those leagues, you'll find our Discord link. I can't post the link in my chat because Nightbot will banish my, will delete my my comment. <laughs> All right, three attacks, three attack dice from IG88 B. Rolls two hits and a blank. That is about average as it gets there as well. And, oh, nice dodge. Slightly above average on this defense dice. Now, the reason why I've been calling out, you know, if it's average or not on the defense dice and attack dice is because the last few games... Uh, I saw some comments that seem to be strongly skewed one way or the other as far as the dice uh, go and the results. But I think a lot of it has to do with what the players are modding, actually. It may seem streaky, but these players have mods for their dice. And so you kind of get a sense of streakiness. All right, one right bank maneuver misses the obstacle. It 
And librarian, if you haven't already, make sure you follow our channel, all right? Right now we have the stream boss's trigger happy taco, and every follow we get knocks his HP down. Same goes for uh, subs and donations. So he's got one stress left still. So we cannot get those calculate tokens. What are we pointing out over here? Contraband cybernetics. Probably his charge is already spent. Tally is saying she's had enough of this, boosted away, but turning her guns around to give a parting shot as she does. Not to worry, because Ray is coming in. Let's use the brute force. All right, hit blank. Obstructed shot. Guess the dodge. I would say that roll probably slightly below average, but not much because that one did roll paint. So you you expect like two blanks, two evades, and that the focus is kind of you know in between an evade. Let's see here, we have, he rolled hit focus blank, which is also very average like, adds the blank, spins the focus to gain a target lock, and it's going to re-roll those two dice for two more hits. Two dodges, one damage going through on blue. So one hit coming at the Falcon. Blanks out. Spins a lock. To change the result, I suppose is how that works. I don't know what the cards do. My problem. I don't know what these resistance cards are doing. Oh man, this is funny. Let's see. Let's check on check on Ray's health real quick. Ray has got two shields left. Okay. It's not done making everyone sick. I can set the board up here now. All right. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's like amazing how you can get like results out of bad results. It's it's really it's really frustrating to play against, I bet. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the Discord invite in the chat for you. I thought Nightbot blocking me. Okay, Nightbot didn't block me. Go ahead and accept that invite is to our Discord there, Librarian 101. So feel free to join. We have a bump from the Falcon into blue. As blue did a left bank one to clear the stress and get in Ray's way. So a round of no shooting, back to dials. Here we go. Straight three from Big Blue. Takes double calculate. All right, let's see what Ray and Tally are going to do. Ray, three talons. Whoa. Onto the gas cloud. For a blank, safe. Yes, sloop. What was it? Did I say talon? My goodness. It says, yes, three sloop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Tally did a left two turn. Rotates her arc forward. Very nice. Wasn't a link. So we'll do a range three shot through the gas cloud. All right, hit focus. <laughs> three dice plus one for range plus one for obstruction it is extra out <laughs> changes the change the blank to an evade if you want why not <laughs> all right ray shooting now in the front arc so she gets to add a result All right, she'll probably add the blank. There we go. Spin the blank. <laughs> oh, we already had target lock. Okay, so then spin the target lock to reroll all those dice. Holy moly. Two hits, two crits. Coming at Big Blue. How will he do? Big Blue rolls. One evade. Two blanks. Out time. He's getting hit, crit, crit coming at him. We can see what these cards are. So shields down.
What cars do we got coming in? We had one dodge, two shields, this should be one crit card if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he rolled three and then one. So he added the last one. So two evades total. Ah... That's why it's only two shields. Very good. All right. So an average defense roll saved him from a crit. All right, so he takes a one right turn followed by a boost coming after Tally. I don't think Tally's going to be in the in the arc, though. I think she's too fast. Oh, no, she flies right at his front arc. She's going to do a Concordia face-off without the upgrade card. Oh, nope, she barrel rolls out of arc. That's some smart flying right there. Bray just creeps along. Gets rid of the stress and the strain. If she had any. I think it was strain. Action lock. All right, tally into big blue. Blank hit hit. I'm sorry, blank blank crit. Wow, my where my head at today. We're just gonna take the crit and roll for defense now. And he gets an evade. Big blue saying he's not easy to take out. He's not going down without a fight. Wait, why would we just deal a card out? We got an evade. Is that not an evade? It says evade. Did I? Oh, crack shot. Thank you. Well then, that sucks. <laughs> uh, I need a co-commentator in here with me. Keep me under control. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So Ray's firing three hits. One evade. Well, yep. I, I do need a co comment. Well, where are you? Come to risk. Where aren't, where aren't you here? Takes two lost damage. He's limping along with one health left. Er. Oh, I see. There's another die way the heck out here. Uh, we added... It's not in the cam here. We added another die. Uh, that was a blank. We used the force change the blank to a hit. And that is game. That is game. All right. Wow. Good game. That was fun to watch. 15 minutes left. Whew. And I was like... <laughs> I, I was off my game today. I was all over the place in this commentary. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Nonetheless. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break for a few minutes while we queue up for round four. So come back and watch some more. Um, if you want notifications. Uh, no, we have one more round. Uh, that was the last round of combat. Uh, we have five damage total on IG-88 Big Blue. And uh, so that's the end of, the, that's the end of the, this game. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy the show, please uh, follow, 
sub or even go to patreon.com or teamkitclubhouse.com to help support the show. Um, and that's also where you can find out more at teamkitclubhouse.com. Team if you go into our shop, you can see our events items posted there as you can sign up right there for them as well as in Tabletop TO. Those are fantastic ways to support us and get more awesome commentary by me. I'm just kidding. It's not that awesome, but I like to think it is. Um, yeah, hang on there for round four, and I'm going to take off right now. Have a good one, guys.